Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now today's piece of content is a little bit closer to the body EDC. In fact, covering possibly the vast majority of your bottom half EDC. Today we're going to be having a look at the Helicantex Urban Tactical Pants. Now, there are two versions of these. So you have the normal, normal, I guess you could say, Urban Tactical Pants, and we have the Urban Tactical Pants Flex. Now, I have the Urban Tactical Pants Flex with me today. I haven't tried the, the standard ones. However, I do own the Urban Tactical Shorts, which are exactly the same so these aren't the flex version, these are the normal version. So I can I can show you the, the, the differences between the two, but I'm sure you can probably guess it's the word flex. But anyway, what I'll do is, as usual, we'll turn the camera around so that we can take a close look. Whilst I'm doing that, if at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit the like, subscribe and share. That would be absolutely amazing. And I'd like to thank you now if you do choose to do that. Um, it certainly does help out the channel. But for now, let's turn the camera around, take a closer look at the Urban Tactical Pants Flex from Helicon Tex. Hit that round, that was quite cool. So what I thought we'd do is we'd start at the top, work our way down, and then we'll have a look at um, the back of the pants as well. Now starting at the very top, as far as the closure for the waistline, the closure on the waistline uh, is hook and loop. When I first got to start using hook and loop over a button, I found it a bit strange, mainly because you know I'm, I'm used to where a button is and it just it's fine. But I've, I've started to get used to it. Um, what it does mean though is it does give you an, an extra little bit of movement in there. So um, maybe you've been out at a large lunch, you can undo them, you can move it over just a little bit and give yourself a little bit more wiggle room. Um, as far as belt loops, you have these nice large two inch belt loops. The two on either side here at the front also have these additional fastenings on there. So if you wanted to run something through there as well, that then goes straight down into your pocket, you can do that. Um, the loops go all the way around and the front two are the widest two. Um, and they're probably about an inch and a half. And then after that, all of the other loops um, are a, a just over an, an inch you get to the back and then you have these two which are again the wider of the ones on the back and then you have another one here one of the advantages with these is as well as you also have a little bit of elastic here at the back which when it comes to movement um, just being able to move and how, how your your pelvic changes I suppose it doesn't really change but the muscles within your pelvic um, bone they, they change and they contract and expand so it just gives you a little bit more movement and a little bit more freedom uh, when you are now the vast majority of things in fact I'd say everything on here uh, is, is symmetrical so whatever we talk about on this side is definitely replicated on this side so moving down oh sorry I forgot to say so we also have a metal zipper in here as well all of the zips on these are YKK zips um, the material that is used throughout these, apart from the mesh that's in the pockets, um, is a nylon cotton mix, which is actually really nice. Um, one, you get the strength, but it's also a little bit more, a little bit softer, a little bit more breathable than you would get with a polyester cotton mix. Um, and as far as colours, you know, this is Helicon Tex. They, they have just a thousand different ranges. At the moment, though, if you just there is more options for colour if you just go for the standard urban tactical pant whereas if you go for the urban tactical pants flex there, there's there is less uh, options okay so back to back to the pockets so on the pockets these are really nice deep pockets and when I pull the pocket out hopefully you'll be able to see um, that you have this really nice strong mesh that's in there now I'm just gonna grab the urban tactical shorts because this is one of the differences that I've seen which I actually prefer the mesh on these on the urban tactical shorts it just has um, a, a, a cotton it probably isn't cotton but it just has a cotton lining on these whereas these it, it just I don't know it, it, it just adds a layer of breathability although you're really not going to get a lot of kind of anything in there um, 
and then on the outsides of here you have a little bit of reinforcement as well so if you have a knife if you have anything that you like to clip onto here then it'll just make sure that it's clipping onto an area that's reinforced to give you a little bit more protection moving down the thigh pockets so the thigh pockets on here there are two th thigh pockets here the first one at the front this is a quick access for a magazine so depending on what you're running these are great if you're taking them to the range now clearly these are airsoft magazines I don't own any other ones but if you need to put in an AK or an, uh, an AR um, mic you can fit that in there as well there have been a few days where I've been running something that's designed to be more like um, 9 millimeter one which fits in there as well just right as well do you find with the smaller 9 millimeter ones that they do rattle around just a little bit though it's also perfect um, for a mobile phone as well so you can put that in there and have it um, if you need to the larger cargo style thigh pockets zip open and again we have on the inside here we have that mesh lining on the back whereas the lining on the the non-flex versions or the ones that i have here on on the shorts they don't have that now i've only been able to compare these against the shorts so if if there's anybody out there that has the non-flex versions of these the standard versions i'd love to hear if they also have um, I think it'd be good if you could leave that in the notes below and then people uh, comments below and then people can check that just to see. Uh, but these are nice and large, they're a great size um, and yeah, it, it's, it, it's kind of that thigh pocket that I, I find with a lot of these thigh pockets rather than being on the exterior of your thigh. So this is on the exterior of your thigh and just curves round a little bit more towards the rear of your thigh. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure why people have started to have that kind of design of them, but I actually prefer it, so it, it's it's quite nice. As we then come down, we have um, a padded knee section. Now, I say padded. So it is a reinforced knee section, so if you're needing to take a knee, then you can get some additional reinforcement here. Now, I first thought when, when I tried these that you couldn't add any additional padding to them because... Um, the, the, the sewn seam at the top is, you know, you can't get into that. And the, the seam across the bottom here, you also can't get into there. But what I did find, and this is just through messing around with them is, so if you go through the inside, obviously this would be easy if you just pull the pants inside out. Um, on the inside, you have more of this mesh lining on the inside of um, the, the knee protection. And there is also a small opening here on the side. I don't think you're going to be able to fit one of those, those kind of, the, uh, the, they're about a 10 to 20 mil kind of industrial style pads in there. You might be able to, but it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. Whereas if you just want to put something in there just to give your knee that extra support when you're going to your knee, then you can add that in there. So I think it's nice that they've done that and it's a little bit more covert as well so that these are designed as an urban tactical pant. So they're more so to wear kind of just out, but if you want to stay prepared, then you know you can do that as well. You come down to the bottom and there are, so there are grommets that you can pass your own um, cordage through there if you want to add it um, but it doesn't come standard with the cordage on there um, which I don't really mind to be fair uh, when I've used these when I've been um, playing airsoft in these I certainly haven't had any worries and plus on the flip side when I've been wearing these out and about and just had some flip-flops on I find sometimes on your heel with the cordage in there then yeah but you know they're, they're actually the, I actually prefer that there's the option to add it if you choose to add it. So I flip them over and this is where, and I've, I've skipped just an important part here, this is where you'll now be able to see where this flex comes in over the normal version. I'm just going to grab my normal versions here off the floor. So on the normal versions, below here where the waistband is, 
you have this V-shape. So on the normal versions, this V-shape here is made from the same uh, nylon cotton mix that the rest of the shorts is made from. Whereas on the flex, across this back panel here, and you can see because it's a different shade from the multicam that's on here. So this uses this elastine material, which has a four-way stretch, which means if you have your belt on, and you want to make sure that as it rides over the top of your buttocks when, when, you, when, you, when you're squatting down, um, it just gives it an extra bit of um, elasticity. But also, as you know, I mentioned before, you know, your, your gluteus maximus, it spreads as you squat down. So it also gives you a bit of shift that way as well, which is really nice. Large pockets here in the back, which also have this uh, mesh lining which for the shorts, which is a common theme with this, uh, if, if you've not got this already, um, they just have this, um, I believe it's cotton, but it, it probably, it's probably a, a cotton something mix. Um, so that's in there, which again, it might add some breathability to it. And it's exactly the same on both sides, although I've got a bit of fluff there. And then inside each of the pockets then, there are two additional mag pockets so if you want to drop a pistol magazine, do you know what? I didn't test that before. Okay, so the pistol magazine in that pocket is a little bit more difficult to get in, whereas the pistol magazine in that pocket isn't. So when this has been stitched, it's actually been stitched a little bit too small. When I tested it this morning, I've only run it in that pocket. But yeah, it is. That's... It'll go in, no one, it won't go in. So in this occasion, I'll just be using that to store knives and stuff, but that, th that's the first time that I've noticed that. Um, so yes, this one on this side, I'd love to hear, so if you have the same pair, is this just purely an accident that I've found when somebody's been stitching this? Or have you found that there are differences in sizes between the two pockets on the rear? Um, all of the stitching, if I've not mentioned already, so all of the stitching where you find that the stress points are and the corners of um, all of the pockets, even the corners of the pockets here on the back, um, they all have additional uh, reinforced stitching on there as well. Comes down to a flat back, so as far as the seat is concerned, in here it doesn't have a reinforced seat where you have a second piece um, of material in there just to give it extra support or at least extra durability from your ass rubbing on stuff um, but I guess that's also extra support for that, that friction when, you, when you're walking if they get wet uh, but then we get down to the additional flex so in here hopefully you'll be able to see this um, kind of diamond shape so right in the gusset of the pants so you have that diamond shape so that as you're squatting your knees move apart it allows that area to open up which is I suppose more of a natural thing for it to do so getting to a knee getting down into the prone position where you've kind of got to do a squat like almost like a burpee it certainly makes it a lot easier and there's less kind of tension as you're, you're trying to get down, but it also allows you a, a greater freedom of movement. Now I have left these on here. I've, I've had these now, how long have I had these? I've had these, I think this was another one that I picked up or got sent to me just after Christmas. So I've had these for a good four months now. Unfortunately, and this is the first piece of Helicon text that I've, I've kind of had a big snag like this. Um, there is quite a large snag on here with some uh, some of this um, cotton, or uh, sorry, the probably a, a polyester style uh, stitching. Um, I've twisted it and it, it hasn't come undone, so I, I always leave things on there so it's exactly how I found it when it arrived to me. But what I'll probably do is cut that off, use a cigarette lighter on there just to make sure that it seals. But other than that, there's not really been anything wrong with them apart from this, which is the first time that I've just spotted that today. Um, so yeah, so you've got that diamond shape there which allows for greater movement. Across the back of the knee, um, there is a different panel across here as well which again just adds for a little bit greater movement and then uh, you just have the rear of the leg there.
Now for me, as it will do the vast majority of you, the big thing for these really just comes down to the fit. So I've had a few pairs of Helicon Tex pants before. I'll just bring these out. Okay, so I've got the BDUs and I've also got the, I forgot what these are called. Are these the Special Forces Next version 2s? So they all sit reasonably high on the waist. I find with the Urban Tactical Pants that they just sit a little bit lower. It gives it gives my belly a little bit more freedom, but I find that it's a, it's more of a modern fit. So for me, I'm a 36 inch waist. Um, I wear regular trousers. Um, these aren't too baggy. They, they're just about right. It's nice to have that kind of freedom of movement. Um, and they, yeah, they, they fit just right. Here is uh, the rear shirt. Um, but yeah, you know, as I mentioned before, all of the magazines, although we've realised today that one of them kind of doesn't, but all of these fit in should you, should you need to use it. Now in my editing, I remembered that there was something that I forgot to mention. So inside here, kind of appendix style, there are two small pockets. So on the inside here, there is a little pocket that you can that you can put things into if you choose to. There's one exactly on the opposite side as well. I guess these would be useful if you choose to use those. Um, if you are putting yourself in a situation where you need to concern yourself with escape and evasion, you could put something in there. This is always an area, especially for gentlemen, um, that doesn't tend, no one will, you know, goose you. Um, so it, it, it's a good area to keep things that generally isn't patted down uh, as part of a frisk. Now I get to this point and I think to myself, is there anything that I would change about the pants? Now, for me, these are 97.33333 recurring perfect. The things that I would change or possibly add to them, it, it, it doesn't detract anything from the quality of the pants and, and how well they wear and, and, and so on and so forth. The first thing is, on the inside of the thigh pockets, although it's slightly negated by the fact that there is an exterior magazine pocket, um, on the, the next ones, the next version 2s, on the inside of the pockets, you have these additional magazine loops. So you have the two elastic magazine loops at the top, and then at the bottom, there, there are two smaller pockets for the bottom end of the magazine to, to, to slide into. Um, it's great, it's nice to have those again. The, the quality uh, of these pockets is excellent. It probably doesn't need them because the, uh, that additional one on the outside. Um, but for things like a mobile phone, to be able to put that in there, even car keys, it, it, it's useful. But for additional magazines, if you wanted to, then that would be great as well. The second one, again, now I'd say that the flex in here is actually sufficient. It does, it does a very good job at what I've tested them for. I, I do admit, so, so I'm, I'm not in the military, I uh, have no military experience. The, the, the testing that I've done is, is purely through Airsoft and just going to work, that sort of stuff. Um, and again, I'm not. I will never compare the two because I 1,000 appreciate that they are they are completely different. Um, but I think maybe if somebody did want to use these, which I know that the, the design is an urban tactical pan. I'm kind of waffling now. Um, but if if like I compare them to the the Ranger pants from uh, Arctis, the, the the diamond in the gus diamond in the gusset. <laughs> In uh, next week's episode of the Diamond in the Gusset, um, it's a, it's a lot larger, which just gives you extra freedom um, of movement. But again, it, it doesn't detract anything from these pants. These are an urban tactical pant, not a BDU or something that you would possibly use in a in a in a water war torn kind of area. I'll never use these in that kind of situation, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend these. I highly recommend these, in fact. 
So much so that for the shorts, I, I, I bought the first pair and I like them that much that I, I bought a second pair. Um, I'm definitely going to buy a second pair of these. Uh, so full disclosure, these were sent to me from Military First. I've, I've worked with Military First a few times. Here in the UK, they are one of the largest suppliers of military and outdoor um, gear that, that we have. And they're, they're a great bunch of northerners. They're just a stone throw from the Kingdom of the Moorlands in Manchester. And you know, yeah, they're, they're thoroughly nice people. So they did send these to me to test out. But with again, with the conversations that I have with them, I can 100% give my own opinion there's, there's, they haven't paid me to you know review them favorably but I would say that of all of the different types of pants that I've tried so far I still need to test out those Arctis ones um, they're just brilliant for everyday wear because they're an urban tactical pant for everyday wear they they are really nice um, I went for the multicam purely because Helicon Techs have got a bazillion colors and I haven't had any multicam ones from them but I am definitely going to pick these up in a gray or uh, maybe they're adaptive green as well so that I can wear these to the office I, I generally don't tend to wear camo to the office it, I get a few funny looks I get a lot of funny looks anyway but yeah it just adds to it uh, but yeah I'm definitely going to be picking up a second pair of these I might even try and get the ones that are the non flex versions as well just so I can I can check out the differences but yes definitely check these out definitely check out uh, military first thank you to military first again for sending these my way I appreciate it and I, I, I do look forward to future collaborations I'll leave Halkin Texas links I'll leave military first links I'll leave my links Trying to think if there's anything else. No, I think that's everything. So for now, stay safe, stay more Linda, and stay EDC. Shall I put them on? Shall I put them on? Might as well put them on, eh? Let's put them on. We're going to be having a look at a pair of the Helicon Tex Urban Tactical Pants. Urban Tactical Pants. <clears throat> So what I thought we'd do is we'd start at the top, work our way down, and then we'd we'll flip them over and... That went strange for a bit. Okay, hold on. So what I thought we'd do is we would start at the top, work our way down, and then we'll 